okay. We're still okay, so long as it doesn't do that. Everybody jump! making introductions right now? <laughs> We've been scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? We can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way down here, small fry? You lost? We're here to take down the admin. <laughs> You're kidding! You can't even make it off this gravel cliff by yourself! <laughs> yeah. Maybe we help you, maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die! <laughs> the first one! Pick the first one! I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Getting down there, pulling you up. Help us and we may surprise you? When's the last time you met someone new down here? Not a fan of surprises, especially since the last one. Things do get pretty boring down here, though. Here's the deal, folks. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us, what with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin permanently? We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. A warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat. Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords or splat? Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. Yeah, <laughs> splat. Ooh. No deal. Yeah, well that's disappointing. <laughs> yeah, we'll go our own way. Don't go playing heroes, Squishies! World this dark will snuff out a light like you real fast! Jack! Jesse! Jack! Eh, tried to tell ya. Oh, move out, ya stink bags! Jack! want us to keep going. Jesse's right, Nerm. Come on. I 
guess this is how they keep the mobs out. Strangers! Strangers! Binta! Ooh, what do we do here, Jesse? We come in peace. We're not gonna hurt you, I promise. We've been told that before. Fred, Fred, Fred believed it. Then he was stabbed in the back. Now what? I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone. Everyone in the underneath. Binta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful. They might be well armed, and now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with a fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? They're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters, including a giant freaking Enderman. Hey, we just got here. We have no right to judge them. Okay, sorry. I think it's kind of nice. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Binta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred and locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Most of my townspeople have never even been inside. If you don't tell me what you're after, I'm afraid I can't help you. We're here to help our town. I understand wanting to help your people, but I can't just let you in. The door is locked until the contest is won. No amount of arguing will change that. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. I'm not breaking my promise to him. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place is weird. Nice. the one. The one who thinks they can beat me is a faithful friend of Fred. Hey, dude. And I'll tell you something, stranger. I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means I always win. And that means you will lose. So good luck. I don't even know what to do with that one. Hi, um... Oh, you want to know something about Fred? Uh, yeah, actually. How did you... His favorite tool? A diamond hole. That's why I use two. And why I take farming my mushrooms super, super seriously. For serious. Cool. Yeah, sure. Makes sense. Uh, bye.
there, I'm looking for information about Fred. Well, this here was Fred's cherished pet, but you'll never guess his name, never. You stay in there now. Don't want that dog getting you now, do we? How can I get him to call out that chicken's name? Let me guess, Fred liked to paint with his feet? Nope. <laughs> Hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Nasty stuff out there. Should have listened. Not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves. Taught myself to paint like this. But these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? You craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. You know, I got some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done prompt-like. I'm on a roll, and this one's almost finished. You got it. You are really cute. Hey there, little guy. I got a game for you. Okay, you see that chicken? He loves playing chase. Go get him. Dog, what are you? Oh no, Waffles, Waffles, come back, come back. Waffles, huh? Fine, you got me. It's waffles, all right. Chicken could never make a decision. Poor fella. So that's Fred, huh? these. All done. <gasps> it's just lovely. I am going to paint this Fred's favorite color. Not just any blue. Lapis blue. Lapis blue. Oh, same color as my underwear. Mine too. <laughs> Ready to begin? I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone! Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now! Gather round, everyone. Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent. And we have a challenger! Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. It comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude! Kent! Be my best friend! May the most faithful friend of Fred win. Oh, I will. 
For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar. Begin! If you've known Fred his whole life. What? How can you say that? That that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. I declare this round a draw! What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this. His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct. Well done. Next question. Kent, Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess, his favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hoe. Obviously. Very good! Jesse, Fred had a constant companion, a fine feathery friend. What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. For the way he was always waffling. That is correct! Jesse, well done! I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent, you might finally lose your title. Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with, this was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? No one knows that. Fred didn't play favorites with resources. It's Birch. It's Birch! You... Uh... Yes. Yes! Birch? was Fred's favorite. That's right, Jesse won! <laughs> Way to go, Jesse! Congratulations, that was very impressive. 
I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true <laughs> mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. You know, Kent did a great job out there. He, he should have the uh, sleeping garments. You would really... I don't need your pity prize. Here's an idea. No one gets them. How about that? <laughs> Jesse. I hope you find what you're looking for. Okay, if I were a weapon of some sort, where would I be? No one will mind if I just... <laughs> Secret room. There's got to be something down here. Three towns. There's the oasis there and the keep. Third is Romeoburg. Seriously? What kind of name is Romeoburg? This book contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. Yeah, it goes on. Signed by the chief. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. That... this is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait home and he wasn't talking about here there wasn't a cabin on the map though nothing else in here maybe the others found something Binta. Jesse I there's something I need to ask you about um... How did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge, and it was shared with me in great confidence before... I knew because Zara told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in, Fred's Zara. The Zara. The one and only. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. You're more impressive than you seem. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. There aren't many people we don't recognize down here. Yeah, about that. Well, did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? I don't know why Fred would have one. Not the weapon exactly, but some promising clues. Romeo, Zara, and Fred had a cabin that they called home. We need to find it. Did they say Romeo? 
The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Above? Binta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And if Romeo... You welcomed us in. Of course we'll help you. Thank you. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take good care of it. You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. You didn't have to do this. Thank you, really. You're very welcome. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Great, you're here. We've got a new destination, so... Uh, wait, what? I, I don't think I heard that right. What did he say? He says he's not coming with us. He's gonna stay here and wait for Jack. Hey. Nurm, we can't just leave you here by yourself. I understand, Nurm. Someone should be here when Jack gets back. Hey. 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 We understand, Nurm. <laughs> he says he'll look for the fireworks. Once he finds Jack, they'll meet us at the Oasis. Hey, stay safe. <laughs>